Hey guys, so for this week, um, our YouTube lesson of the week is going to be over context clues. So we're going to go to modules, week three, and context clues. Okay, so for this assignment, we're going to do something a little different. Um, as I present the assignment, um, you guys are actually going to follow along and answer the questions on your Chromebook. So you can pull this video up in YouTube on your phone and then answer uh, on your Chromebook, or you can split um, your Chromebook into two screens, have YouTube on one side and the assignment on the other. Um, well, however is more comfortable for you, um, I want you guys to do that. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me or in the Zoom meeting, um, ask any questions you might have on this assignment. Okay. So once we get to context clues, okay, you guys are going to have, you're going to notice all of these um, words and, and numbers over here and you're probably wondering what the heck are they? So these are actually going to be the questions uh, and words that we're going to fill out as we go along. Okay, so the assignment is click on the link above and follow along and either fill in the blanks or answer the following questions. Okay, so please, 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 when you guys answer these questions, just highlight it all. Okay, copy it and then paste it when you click the submit assignment button. Okay, so if you click on this link, um, it'll take you to the PDF for the uh, kind of our textbook. Okay, so I'm going to pull it up and okay, so first thing we got, let's make, make this bigger. Okay, so we got context clues, lesson one. Okay, so I'm going to read this very cheesy uh, paragraph. You guys can read along if you'd like um, or just listen, whatever floats your boat. So. Imagine that your grandmother sees you trying on a new basketball jersey. She makes approving sounds and smiles to show she thinks that you look terrific. Good job. Uh, you probably expect grandma to say something pleasant, such as, that jersey looks great on you. Instead, she touches a sleeve, grins, and says, groovy threads, baby, mellow. Yes, I have to say this. Huh? Did she just insult you or compliment you? That's my cheesy line for the day. Actually... Grandma just said in a 1960s sort of way that your new shirt looks fantastic. All you had to do to understand her message was pay attention to the clues she gave you, her smile, the approving sound she made, and the cheerful tone of her voice. So it's all about context. Figuring out all the meanings of difficult words in a reading passage is a lot like learning an unfamiliar slang. You can learn the meaning of the latest slang, or even your grandma's out-of-date lingo, by being uh, attentive in a conversation. In the same way, you can learn the meaning of a word by being attentive of the surrounding words and sentences. Okay, so this will be the first, uh, right here will be the first uh, word we use. Okay, I'm going to go back a little bit. So right here, okay, this is where you're going to fill out context, the definition for context. Okay, so where am I at? There we go. So right here. So context is looking at the words around the unfamiliar word to tell you what it means. Okay, I'll say that again. By looking at the words around the unfamiliar word to tell you what it means. To see how using context works, read the following sentence and answer number one. Never one to give up, Margot worked tenaciously to land an audition for a part on a popular TV show and her tireless efforts finally paid off. So. Number one, just like down here, we're going to answer number one now. Okay. So which of the word, or I'm sorry, what is the meaning of the word tenaciously as used in the sentence? Okay. So we got A, B, C, or D. When you answer this, just put A, B, C, or D. You don't have to put A hesitantly or B curious, whatever. Okay. So give you guys a second to answer what you think it is. What is the meaning of the word tenaciously as used in the sentence? Okay. So. I would say the answer is D, okay, persistently. Um, so tenaciously is about as difficult a word you're going, you are likely to see on a reading test. But even if you've never read or seen the word before, you can figure out what it means. The other words in the sentence give it away. Okay, so which choice would most likely describe the way Margo works? We are told that Margo is never one to give up and that her efforts are tireless. These details allow you to eliminate choices A, hesitantly, and C, lazily. Of the two choices that are left, which of these um, would most likely lead to Marco to success? 
So as you can see, um, you don't know the meaning of everywhere in the dictionary to answer a vocabulary question. However, you do need to know how to use context to figure out the meanings of unfamiliar words. Here are some tips to help you figure out the meanings of unknown words. So now we're going to kind of get into it, guys. All right. So tip number one. So down here again, we're going to write tip number or have tip number one and then answer right after it. OK, tip number one is look for synonyms. Look for synonyms. Tip number one, look for synonyms. And then for the definition of synonyms, we'll be right here. So synonyms are words that have similar meanings. Often you will find words in the passage that have similar meanings, or sorry, have meanings similar to the unknown word. Okay. Read the following sentence and then use it to answer numbers two and three. Okay, let's scroll down. So preparations for the star-studded wedding were covert, and organizers were able to keep the details hidden from the press until the last minute. Okay, so instead of circle any words that have a meaning similar to um, that of the underlined word, you're just going to type it out. So number two, type any word that have a meaning similar to the word that is underlined. So the underlined word is covert. Okay, so which words over here? Okay, in this sentence are a synonym of covert. They're similar. Okay, so a synonym for covert would be hidden right here. Okay, so for number two, we're going to put hidden. Okay, so number three right here. Okay, number three, what is the meaning of the word covert? Is it a secret? B, detailed, C, gossipy, or D, flashy? The answer, okay, is going to be A, secret. Okay, hidden and covert are the same thing. It's secret, okay? If somebody's, like, you hear, like, a covert operative, okay? They're a secret operative. They're hidden, okay? They're like a secret agent, a ninja, okay? So, covert is secret. All right, tip number two, okay? Tip number two, look for causes and effects related to the unknown word. So cause and effects relationships can uh, give hints to the meaning of an unknown word. Use the following sentence to answer numbers four and five. So no one had ever thought that Central High would beat North. So when it finally happened, the Central fans were euphoric. Okay. So how do fans feel when their team defeats another team that's hard to beat? What do we think this, this word euphoric means? Okay, if Central High, uh, no one ever thought that they would beat them, and they've actually beat them, how do you think they they uh, would respond? How, how do they feel? Okay, so if you put excited, happy, okay, words like those, that would be an acceptable answer for number four. Euphoric, okay, we can figure out what this means by the general context of what's going on around it, the cause and effect, okay? So number five, which word means almost the same thing as euphoric? Embarrassed, overjoyed, challenged, satisfied. Okay, A, B, C, or D. I'm actually not going to give you guys the answer for this one. Okay, I'm going to let you guys figure that out on your own. I want to give you the first couple so it gets you kind of going. But start with number five, we're going to start doing it on our own. Okay, so which mean or which word means almost the same thing as euphoric? One of these four. Okay, so next one, tip number three. Okay, so down here, tip number three. Make sure you guys are giving the definitions for all the tips as well. Okay, so tip number three. Look for lists showing that the unknown word fits into a category. If a weird per <laughs> can't talk. If a weird word. Oh my gosh. If a word, there it is, uh, appears in a list of things or in a description of a scene, you can guess its meaning by the way it fits into the world that contains the other items. So use this sentence to answer number six and seven. Loons, grebes, egrets, and ducks and plovers are fascinating to watch and can be found in Oklahoma. So all of these things, okay, fit into what category? Okay, we know what ducks are. Okay, we don't really know what these other things are, probably, but we know that they're fascinating to watch and we found in Oklahoma. So what do we think all of these have in common? They are all what? Okay, so number six, tell me what category they fit into. Number seven, 
Okay, this kind of gives it away. Number seven, what is a grebe? Okay, is it A, a type of tree? Okay, are ducks a type of tree? Probably not. So B, a television program. C, a kind of bird. D, a special performance. Okay, so is it A, B, C, or D? Number seven. Okay, almost done. Almost there. Tip number four. Okay, this will be the last, this stuff will be the last thing we do. Tip number four. Again, remember, we're writing down the tips. Look for clues that point to the opposite meaning of the unknown word. Words such as but, despite, although, surprisingly not, and so on, signal a shift in the logic of a sentence. Such words can hint at what a vocabulary word doesn't mean. These are antonyms, or words that mean the opposite of each other. Okay, so down here, make sure we got the antonyms definition. Okay, words that mean the opposite of each other. Knowing what a word doesn't mean can help you make a good guess about the word does mean. Okay, so read the following sentence and then use it to answer numbers eight and nine. Eight and nine will be our last questions for this assignment. Okay, so when Miss Carrier, or sorry, when Mr. Carrier first arrived in Fairview, the townspeople thought he was a fine, upstanding, honest gentleman, but time show or soon showed him to be an absolute rogue. Okay, so number eight, it says circle any words that describe the opposite of rogue. Okay, so instead of circling it, remember, we're just going to write. Um, so, number eight down here. Okay, type any words that describe the opposite of rogue. So, what words in this sentence, okay, do we think is the opposite of rogue? Think about how, what words they're using to describe, okay, a fine, understanding, or sorry, upstanding, honest gentleman, okay, rogue. What is the meaning of the word rogue as it used as it is used in the example sentence. So do we think it is A, mysterious newcomer, B, popular, popular leader, C, untrustworthy person, or D, a wise elder? So once you guys finish with the assignment, okay, make sure you submit it. We're only going to number nine, okay? Make sure you guys copy this, okay? Context, okay, right click it, copy it, and then whenever you submit the assignment, paste it, and then just fill in the answers just like you're doing a worksheet. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to um, shoot me an email, um, or if you're patient, you can wait till the Zoom meetings. Uh, but either way, hope you guys have a great week, and we will see you in Zoom. Have a good day. Bye.